When were you born? Where were you born? Uh, I was born in 1928, November, at the uh, Tokyo, Japan. In Tokyo. Mm -hmm. What kind of a family were you born in? Uh, my father is a robot Tani. Then uh, that's all. <laughs> that's all. Mm -hmm. And what? When were you first exposed to the martial arts? Uh, I was uh, five years old time, because uh, all the like you know traditional samurai families customs, starting any martial arts training at five years, five months, five day time. That's why myself starting five years, five months, five days from born. And, and what, what was that like? Uh, was starting a uh, kendo. Training, yes. Then continues my father's and pushing kendo training. And myself maybe not so interesting, but some uh, like duty <laughs> every morning uh, training uh, with Sigeda's father. Then going to school, continue kendo training. Yes, I think uh, about uh, ten years continue kendo training. Then uh, in between. Like very much interesting with judo, uh, because they uh, have image judo mans and throwing and the big ones, small ones throwing big ones. Mm -hmm. Then uh, finally starting karate, 17 years old, uh, and the master Funakoshi. How did you hear about Funakoshi? How did you first hear about karate? Uh, this time, not so karate is not popular like today. Uh, very few people know, even Japan. Then uh, I heard some people, say, uh, several people, about karate, and it looks like very interesting. Then I find up uh, Master Funakoshi Dojo, uh, called Shotokan. Then first time beating, then get very interesting. Then until two days, continue practice karate. Since that day. Uh -huh. What was training under Funakoshi like? Uh, like a uh, pastime, uh, uh, of course, we don't have any competition. Mostly uh, like basic training and the kata training, basic sparring. This is the main part. And how long would the classes be? What kind of individuals were uh, you? Usually, dojo time, about uh, two hours. A class, but not like class, more like a very few students that time. Then uh, each individual try sometimes same time kata or separate and basic training. But uh, such as like uh, if stance training, maybe on two hours only one stance training. If kicking training, two hour continue kick, kick, kick kind. <laughs> You know, very, uh, uh, some point not interesting training, but they give it a very hard training. That's why uh, those type people very strong, you know, build up basic techniques. Com compared to two days, two days more like variety. Of course, more good, uh, make good training system, uh, more organizing training. But some weak, uh, good point is pick up very quickly many technique, but uh, each technique, frankly, not strong enough for training. Then, used uh, pastime, not so variety, or so many, you know, quantity training, but each technique try so hard. That's why very strong build up uh, basic matter. Mm -hmm. And you would train for an hour, two hours? In Yes, about every day, so Monday through Saturday. Monday through six days a week. Training yes, yes. And how many people would be in a class? Uh, sometimes uh, 10, 11. Uh, the biggest class is about 20, no more than 20, usually. Mm -hmm. Because uh, karate is not so much popular. Most uh, in Tokyo areas, college level is very popular. That's why uh, college student is almost a uh, uh, half over training comes from college class to come to Dojo. What, uh, what kind of a man was Master Funakoshi? Uh, very difficult to say one word, but he's a very uh, great master. 
I owe the meeting uh, already almost eight years old, very old man, but uh, very kind, uh, uh, very gentle. But the training time will be very hard. If we're talking to gentles, talking back to gentles, we try so hard and uh, come back, they call back very hard. Uh -huh. Like, it looks like a, a very old school teacher. Feeling like. Mm -hmm. So very strict discipline. Yes. Mm -hmm. who, who were some of the other students that you trained with that later became famous? Uh, this time, and also, uh, most of people is almost quit in you know, training because uh, myself, like doing war time, and many people little training, then go to, you know, they drafted. So not so many left. Uh, most, uh, that's why. Uh, after the second world war, then many people starting. This time people, you know, now stay many, uh, continue working today. But the war time training people almost quit everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, did you quit training during the war? Yes, uh, I'm very lucky, very short time uh, uh, going to the Navy, only half year then come back college campus again. That's why maybe only lost it half year. Mm -hmm. Initially, Funakoshi taught basics and kata, mm -hmm. makawara. Mm -hmm. When did kumite develop? How did kumite develop? Yeah, kumite is a, like a very ordinary we have kumite because a training kata and the kihon basic, then a, Training is always an application, like uh, one side attack, one side uh, application of kata, so then starting kumite training. Then later, very late development and free sparring. Uh, main uh, getting popular after Second World War. After second. Yes. Who developed these? Well, not so uh, typical persons. But uh, starting college level people are you know, starting more popular because already before uh, doing war time or before war time, some type of free sparring because uh, many sports have inter college, uh, many sports have championship or uh, tournament and competition. Then uh, college levels, you know, karate club, not to have rules, regulations for competition. However, we try to uh, so uh, call a kokan geko means exchange training. Then starting, you know, because exchange means nothing, just showing both team kata, then starting and free sparring without any rules regulation. What do you like? No, we uh, like almost fighting <laughs> style, not so control and very you know, dangerous, but some point very enjoy <laughs> the courage <laughs> people. <laughs> We, did you participate in these exchange matches? Yes, uh, many times. Okay. Yes. Um, from so after World War Two, Kumite really started. To How about you? When did you when did you get Shoda your first degree black belt? Uh, I think my age about uh, twenty years old time. In the 1948, I mean, very late to get uh, Shodan because uh, during war time we almost don't have any examinations. Then after I come back, uh, you know, late uh, during war time, I go into college, then join the college team. Then uh, after Second World War, I take examination. Now, General MacArthur outlawed the martial arts. No, no. no. This is just to have a Ruba, but uh, no any control government. Okay. So you got to continue training mm -hmm. after World War II? Yeah, uh, but after Second World War, uh, Americans, you know, General MacArthur control Japan. They stopped so all martial arts training, not only karate, uh, kendo, uh, except judo, because judo is uh, uh, claiming not the martial arts and sports. Also many uh, servicemen training judo. That's why judo is except but the karate, kendo, all other martial arts, uh, 
not to stop the stop the campus inside the campus training. That's why all karate team and the kendo team is technically destroyed. Kendo team will be belonging to fencing team, karate team belonging to boxing team, such as. But uh, I think uh, most of college have continued training, such as like underground training. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So you, you train rather secretive? Yes, uh, not too much secret, just uh, boxing training time in the same room using other side of karate, other side of boxing uh, kind of idea. But uh, college is nothing to support anything about karate about the Kent old martial arts club, just supporting the judo club. When, so after the war, karate really started developing how, and, and spreading through Japan. How did that occur? Why was karate becoming so popular? I don't know reasons, but I think uh, after Second World War, every people, you know, something of course very shock and lose uh, hope because uh, doing what time everyone to work hard to you know get the education to working some uh, goal for you know when to was uh, working for uh, country but uh, finish war everyone's you know feeling inside empty people something want something want you know, then uh, uh, karate is you know getting very popular uh, because history of martial art always war time is destroyed, then peacetime development. Uh, I think karate is the same. If people is uh, something lost, uh, some uh, principle or uh, inside gets some empty, people want something. Then uh, people starting very, uh, study martial art. Special karate is uh, very something new. Also, very economy, no need any equipment. The many reasons starting also karate is uh, uh, very easy. Anyone can starting. Such as kendo is a very good martial art, but very necessary facility and equipment. But the karate is any place can train. This is good, uh, you know, not saving point, but good people, you know. Uh, starting point, I think. Many campus especially, any any place, like classroom, empty time, now need any gym mediums, people get together can training. That is, I think, a good point. Uh, also some reason of starting. Because uh, also other point is people, after doing, uh, after Second World War time, uh, cannot trust anything. Because uh, yesterday's government say, must do this, must do this, this is justice. Finish was complete justice is changing. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, result is people cannot trust anything other than himself. Mm-hmm. Then uh, this is, I think, uh, psychologically, people want something to be strong himself inside. What, why do you think you have studied the martial arts? karate for so many years. Why, why have you stayed? Uh, not so special reasons, because uh, my families, most of, you know, all the type, you know, like uh, samurai families, uh, martial art is not fighting education. This is general education. The reason is, uh, long time ago, and Japan have about uh, uh, 700 years, Japan is past history, it's uh, like military control, samurai level control politically. Then half part is civil war, all small, you know, samurai group fighting each other. That time very important uh, you know, soldier's skill, uh, 